Better than a leg out. Better than a leg out. <laughs> Matthew Jones is in position for a long-range shot. He's with it now, Matthew Jones. Here goes the kick from Jones. Welcome to the Jones Family Podcast. Yes, it is your hat, Trish. Um, by the way, I just used the term laces out. What movie is that from? What's that, laces out? Laces. Is that Bandit Like Beckham? No, it's not. It's has got to be a sport like movie, movie. laces it's a, out. Uh, it's a, no, it's a sports movie of sorts. Longest Yard? No, it's not. I mean, oh, of sorts. Carter? It relates to a... No, not Coach Carter. The Water Boy. <laughs> no, hold on. Sorry. It's a, it's a, it's a it? movie. It's a Jim Carrey movie, but there's a sports element in it. Ace Ventura? You got it, man. Yes, man. No, uh, Ace, Ventura Ace, Ventura, Ace Ventura, which is the one with Pet Detective. Pet oh detective. yeah, with uh, Lou Fer- No, not Lou Ferrigo. Lou Ferrigo. He uh, was the quarterback for the Miami Dolphins. Yeah. Well, I'll think of it. Sure. Joe Marino. Um, Dan Marino. Dan Marino. Yeah. Joe, Joe, Joe Marino. Hey, he had three letters. That's close. Yeah. 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 Uh, how are we all going? Is everyone good? One. You're right, Trish. You're sitting there in your active wear. Man, you're looking fit. No, this is well. Actually, since you're wearing my cap, I'm wearing Cooper's jumper. Yeah, she is wearing my jumper. I love the Lots of people nice. wearing. You're actually wearing my jumper too. That's a hand me down. What? Uh, Trisha's got my hand me down jumper as well. Yeah. Jack's today's. We don't throw anything wearing, out in this house. No, today Jack's not wearing my shorts. He was yesterday. <laughs> I was wearing your shorts yesterday. Get the f over it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very cool. I've no, heard okay. you mention it about five times in the last 24 hours, actually. Yeah. So this is a bloke who has got, honestly, you're like. Um, I'm a little bit worried he's going to become a hoarder. He's like no, no he's Gunner. like a, he's a become. Melbourne Marcos. He, his wardrobes are just full of shoes. He doesn't full want to throw anything out. And I went in because there's a little storage part in his room, and uh, there was a suitcase Ooh. filled with jumpers and jackets from when he moved back from Melbourne. So I thought, oh, I'll pull those out because he's probably forgotten yeah. about them and, and might want to use them. I'd like to try a few one. Yeah, well, forgot. I've got some in the wash because cool. they were obviously put away dirty in the first instance, oh. but um. He's not going to put them in his wardrobe. He said, oh, no, put them in vacuum seal bags. If you're not going to use them in winter, when are you going to use them, mate? God, what a jerk. He's not a jerk. Thing. It's not. And those, they are good jump jackets. You guys will never understand. Oh, we're starting to. I'm just worried me. that you will literally become a hoarder because it's a terrible disease. But like, yeah, and look, and quite seriously, it is, it is a condition that accelerates. Oh, it does. So you really need to learn to cull, my friend. I think I'll be okay. I think as a now, parent, I need to help you cull. Well, I tell you, oh. well, I'll, I'll help you because our old mate there, the Italian stallion S, you should see her wardrobe. Honestly, she's got things that basically with that she had in the 60s and she wasn't even born in the 60s. She was born in 1970. There is stuff there. Honestly, your flared pl- pants, you have got some stuff that – you're I've, the worst person I've ever seen throwing. Oh, yeah. I've never seen Did someone really? that has so many. I do so big many, culls. I do so lots much of giving away. Head. I'm not talking about endangered Sorry. species. Jack was trying to say something. What were you saying, Jack? I've never had someone whinge so much in the house about people having stuff in the house and that there's no more room in the house and then has packages three or four times delivered to the house oh a day. My God. The packages are relentless. I've never had a package. Yeah, but I've been online. Neither have I. Yeah. You've been what? <laughs> online shopping. Yeah, but darling, it's things like toilet brushes. Vitamins. Yeah, it's just like clothes. It's not like no, they're not clothes. It's you two. You two are peas in the pod. This is why you argue all the time. This is like, the difference. Mine is for free. I get packages no, no, sent I to pay. the house, and Trish pays. That's you worse. What? In fact, Cobb, have you have you hey. felt the split in the house? I feel like you and me are sort of on the way, same wavelength. Always have been. Always yeah, will be. Yeah, uh, and I feel you like two those are alike, two, and we're alike. Yeah, yeah. I know. You're oh, exactly wait. alike. Hates you know what's to funny? Admit it. He's at exactly start, me. At the start of this year's podcast, you guys said the exact. D- Dad said the exact same thing. Going when Trish and Jack were arguing, saying it's because you two were alike and me and you were alike, and now it's completely shifted. And now yeah. you guys, yeah, no. when yeah, you is. argue, I'm you just change it. I'm a lone wolf. You I'm oh. a lone wolf. I just go out there. And I'm a lone wolf no. too. But we'll sometimes we we go in pairs. You're sure. like you're like your dad, Gary. Oh, he's becoming like his dad. Let me tell you. You are. So you little go. fastidious ways. Hey, uh, fastidious. That won't go through to the keeper, MJ. <laughs> M- MJ Bale. MJ Michael Jordan. Hey, uh, can I bring up something that's happened to me this week? We know. Sure. Talking about we said culling, uh, oh. not ki- not killing. Yeah, <laughs> culling. You actually ran over one of our national one we of our national treasures. That. I didn't run over him. Oh, I'm ran pretty into you, sure really. you did. No, no. So what happened was I was down in Aubrey and I'm driving back from Aubrey at uh, four thirty in the morning, and that uh, later I found out sunrise and sunset worst times to go on the Hume Highway because mm. kangaroos are moving. They're out and about. It's crazy because they're out at night. Is it feed time? No, is well, that what it is? I think it's, it's, it's just, just they're nocturnal. I think. Yeah, like, it's just re- it's just incredibly dangerous. Yeah. I, I think it's got to something. Something Trish should probably do with their line of vision. 
yeah their vision and anyway so i'm driving uh and all of a sudden there was there was ruse it was actually it was it was like something out of wolf creek there were ruse everywhere on the side of the road yeah on the side of, they've obviously been hit all through the night by any, truckies and any stuff psychopaths oh, or serial you mean, killers oh, given oh, it was like wolf creek no no no, no, no. Oh. yeah Let kangaroos and um yeah just, just yeah. try to everyone jump in and um <laughs> i'm driving bounced across and i had my high beams on must have frightened it it just Stunned looked it. at me and then as I got closer, it just bounced basically into me. And then I have obviously hit it. It has nearly, it, you know what? It hit the best side of the car, but geez, it it nearly, it could have destroyed my car. It was Subaru yeah. versus Kangaroo. Yeah. Kangaroo wins. I put up a picture on my Instagram story and a lot of our listeners giving me shit saying I was driving a woman's car, <laughs> saying I bet Trish was angry about you crashed her car. <laughs> And I was like, "What? I didn't realize the Subaru was a, a woman's Subaru's car. Subaru's a great car. Well, who did come off second best, Cooper? Oh, I think the car did. Mm. Yeah. Or... <laughs> oh, I don't know. You know <laughs> what are you going to do We're next? not going to go down Running that road. Running over our, like, our, our, our national treasure. What are you going to take off now and try to... Run over an emu, find an emu, get an emu far and just run over. Cooper's run an animal lover. He would have never intentionally. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. But do you know what's bad now? Because they bounce in front of you. That's the thing. Yeah, they do. Like, they what just emus? Come. They don't even like walk in front. They bounce. Yeah. So well, they that's, don't, yeah. they that's don't, the don't thing. walk. There's Trish. no oh warning. My God. They don't walk, Trish. Um, do they hop or do they bounce? They I bounce. They bounce <laughs> and they can't go backwards. Hence the term. Can they not? No, they can't go backwards. That's the reason on our national arms we have. A kangaroo and emu, they're the only two animals that can't go in reverse. Yeah, they can't go backwards. So, really? Yeah, yeah, that's why. They're not the only animals. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not too sure. I think <laughs> yeah. they're the only mammals. Or the maybe. only Australian animals. <laughs> Let's be more specific. Um, but we'll have to get back to you on those. I know. People. Now I've got a taste for blood. Watch Stop out. Stop it. You have a bloodlust. <laughs> look, look at that zebra on your right. Uh, Don't say that. No, um, but what actually happened, this is what, the, what makes the story worse was I was – Driving back that early because I had to uh, interview the Gold Logie nominees for this year. And Jeez. a great job you did. Uh, thank uh, you. Uh, one, one of them geez, being – Red hot, red hot field. <laughs> Let that one go through to the keeper. Uh, one of them being Robert Irwin. Oh, yeah, like okay. Rob. And oh. and off the, off the back of murdering one of Australia's most loved oh. animals, uh, I was asking about the Gold Logie nomination and because they didn't tell me who – was nominated until I got there, basically. Like, mm. it was supposed to be confidential. So I hadn't prepared anything. So I got there, and he was answering something. I can't remember what he was answering. And I sort of, I started, um, like, you know where you just, someone's talking, and you sort of zone out and just start thinking about something else. I started <laughs> thinking oh, about... it now. Sorry, I Robert. Sta- I started thinking about the kangaroo. So I go, he was talking about something. He was talking about what it meant to him or something. And I went, hey, Rob, can I ask you a question? This is off the logies for a sec. I was down in Albury earlier today, and the girl behind the camera, like the producer, um, I could see her shaking her head when I was like, don't bring it up because I told her about it and she was like, oh, don't bring that up. Before. And then I started talking because I don't think sometimes. <laughs> and she started shaking and I was like, oh, it'll be okay. Yeah. And I started going, so I was driving back from Aubrey early in the morning and uh, I hit a kangaroo and like, I, I'm just want, like, I don't know if I've written my car off or not. I need to go and check. But like, and then I realized like, where is this question going? Like, what am I, why yeah. did I bring this up to ask Rob? Statement. And then I go like, you know, what do you think we can do to to help save the kangaroos? And Rob, Rob just paused for ages and goes, "Oh, mate, that's ho- that's bloody horrible." Oh no! <laughs> and I was like, "Oh," and he goes, "Mate, this is I've got a farm in land of Queensland. He starts going, mate, and all the time I, um, you know, we'll we'll drag the kangaroos off the road because they attract more animals onto it, and that's dangerous for them." Uh. He goes, "You know, did you drag it off?" And I went. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, well, you didn't have a body. It bounced off, didn't it? I don't know. I didn't look back. I did hopped off, Trish. I yeah. hopped, hopped, bounced, yeah, yeah. Well, bounced, bounced, hop in reverse. Yeah, mm. but the lady they ended up cutting it from the video because she said, "Why would you bring that up to a wildlife conservation?" Who's the person who did it? Was a publicist. It was a. You know, it was. It was one of the producers in it. Kiss. That's it. That- that's a, that's a, yeah, but it's, that's nothing wrong with that. that yeah, question and nice. I mean, and then you actually learnt something from him because yeah. he he actually said, "Well, the ideal thing to do is drag it away from the road so that it doesn't attract other animals and then put them in harm's yeah. way." Yeah, well, that's so what it was says. actually a learning experience. I, I reckon, keep you should have gone. You should have gone down here, tell the story, and then you should have finished it with a question like, "What's your favourite twisties, chicken or cheese?" Yeah. Oh. Okay, we'll just let that one go. <laughs> um, now, I had. Uh, I one day, I, I do you know in life you get premonitions, we just you sense something. I was driving, my great late friend Craig Mankins, he lived around Greeter. 
I was driving from Greta back to Cessnock and I was driving through sort of bushland and that and back road and literally went, in my mind, went slow down, something's about to come past. I swear to God. Really? I slowed down and literally five feet ahead of me, a Hang kangaroo on. went past. And you didn't I happen had, to see it subconsciously no, along ha- your peripheral vision? Total premonition. But, wow. Dad, you've got that – you had that vision when you were playing as well. You've got that ability to see things before they happen. Yeah, I know. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah, all oh, right. Yeah. But um, – Sorry, but just back on the route, my car is was completely destroyed. I've been driving it around. I'm still allowed to drive it around, but, geez, the looks I get from people when I pull up at a red light and they see it, like it looks – because it looks – there's shit hanging out. If you're at a pedestrian crossing, do you – like, you know how sometimes you anticipate the, the green man and you go across? If you see someone driving a car and the front's missing, you're, you're probably going to take a couple of seconds to – Just wait sure. and see if they yeah. stop. <laughs> yeah. Fair call. You should anyway. But that is a good point. People hey, do get a bit mindless sometimes. Uh, I, do you guys know the Gold Logie nominees? I, w- I wouldn't mind getting your predictions. Or who you think Run past win. and I'll give you the odds off the top of my head. Okay. Oh. R- Robert Irwin? I'll, sure. I'll give, I'll give Rob, I reckon, seven to two. Ooh. Yeah, but he's a bit old. He's a seven bit Seven to two. Seven to two. So $14 no, odds. No, seven to two is $3.50. Can I, okay. can I ask a question? Just, just do the normal one, maybe. How are they nominated? Is it the... I think the networks put them forward. I, I think the networks do put them forward. Uh, I think uh, they do that with the shows too, right? Back in the day, it the networks used different. to put people just calling continually, putting their people up. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. But, but at this point? Yeah, this point. To this point? Yeah, but this point. The network select who they want I, I'm pretty nominated. sure that's the way they do it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's not like a fan, the fans vote. No, the fa- I, fans I think, ring in to vote now. No, I think they do from this point. Yeah. Right, yeah. From but this up point. to be a nomination, I think the... I, and I may be wrong. Can I? Can I some about? of the some of the past winners has got to be a rort. Dad, have you ever been nominated for a gold logie? <laughs> Not a gold, no. Really? No. I would have. Th- has like anyone from the footy show, anyone rugby league ever been like Fatty no. or anything? No. Dale Brown? No one. No, no one. Not Brown. What? Really? Nobody. No. That's weird, yeah. isn't it? I thought that someone made. And it. you'd think that if anyone Fatty back in yeah, the fat. day of the, the we won, a, we of won the footy quite show. a few. We won about yeah. five or six, but we never was that for sporting show, best sport. sporting show. Best, uh, best light entertainment show and best sporting show. Well, mate, congratulations. Oh yeah, thanks. Sorry, mate. next one, Means Julia lot. Morris. Uh, so seven. Yeah, I'll go three dollars fifty on. Yeah. Uh, Julia, I'll go. She won it before. I'll go five dollars. She's never won one. Never won one. She's been okay. nominated. She's for, likable. Okay, she's very likable. Four dollars fifty. Four dollars fifty. I like her. Okay, Andy Lee. Uh, sure does. Twenty to one. $20. What does he do on television? It makes people laugh. Uh, no, no, but what that's show? The other, that's I don't the other know. One. What, what's with you? Like, I don't I, really I, I saw, watch. Coop had a really good interaction with Andy. I feel like Andy's he looks oh, nice, nice guy, but yeah. twenty to one. Okay, twenty to one. He he hosts a show. Don't know what it was. I okay. don't really watch free to air, but no, I'm I don't sure know it's either. good. Mm. He's got nominated, so they wouldn't. They yeah. would never. Um, nice you know. guy. Or, uh, or, yeah, he looks a very we, nice. We guy. go back on this. Andy wins. Oh wow! Ah, yeah. oh. Tony Armstrong. I like He's that. lovely. We bumped into him up in Byron yeah, a couple of did. years ago, didn't we? I'll nice say, fellow. I'll say Tony Armstrong. I'll say two dollars ninety. Oh, you reckon he's a favourite? I reckon he's. Ooh. I reckon he's a favourite. He's very likable. He's very likable, and, and and yeah, lovely. And mate. he's on the end. He's on. He's starting. Is he ABC. To, uh, yep, ABC, yeah. and I think he's done a little bit of other stuff. I think he's okay, on the project. He's done the project, and he's okay. just starting to peak. Yeah. So he's on the up. You often yeah. see his gold logo winners are people on the way up, not on the way down. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. not true. I liked yes, I never met him, true. but I really liked him. No yeah. no offence, but Sonia Kruger's been around for a long time. She won last year. She's she she's she's at the top of a wave that won't subside. Okay. <laughs> well, she works very hard. She's on a lot of shows. Tell me about it. Well, she's Son- incredible. Sonia Kruger, she got nominated again. Sonia yeah. Kruger. Sonia, I'll give Sonia, I'll say... Uh, I reckon seven dollars. Do you know what? I, I, S- I, I think she's better odds than that, and I'll tell you why. The types of shows she's on, the people would ring in. Yeah, oldies. No, not necessarily. You know, like she what, Dancing with the Stars. I suppose that's a bit oldies. And is Big Brother still around? Is she doing that? No, she's doing one of the talent shows. Yeah, she's doing one of one of them. I'm sure. Yeah. Mm. Um, and she actually used to be on. Uh, Brief appearance on your Channel Seven show. She did, remember? Did she? she yeah, did too. she do? Did. Sonia. Yeah, she was on. I remember she, the character you and Matt Nabel did, Tim and Tom. Her and uh, Tim had a yeah. romantic. They did little sojourn. Did yeah, yeah. they? Yeah, yeah, they did. Tim. Tim and Tom. What did we find the other day on YouTube or something? Yeah, well, that yeah, was yeah, hilarious. Yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah. Let, let I'd that never one, seen. We will we'll, we'll let that one go well, to the keeper as well. That's your opinion, guys. Okay. Oh, you were killing yourself laughing too. Oh, there no, was two was more. One lady didn't rock up. I didn't know what her who she was. She. Asha Kenny. Asha Kenny? Oh, she's yeah. an actress. Very, Asha, very. Yeah. Uh, 
blonde. Nine dollars hasn't been as prevalent as the rest of them, I reckon. Okay, and this is my favourite. And I said to him, I said, "Hey, I hope you win. First time nominated over forty years of TV experience <gasps> hosting game shows." Larry Emdor, yes, man. he's my pick actually. Okay, Tony Armstrong's two dollars ninety. Robert Irwin three dollars fifty. I'll go four dollars fifty. Now I'm Larry. I'm going to give him a dollar fifty. When did he take over the chase? Oh, the last year. Oh, he did. Off. Yeah, Andrew O'Keefe yeah. took a little while to warm in, but he's doing he's, a good yeah. job. Now. He's doing pretty good. Eh? Although on the on the fast he's questions, so he's a little slow on the f- fast questions. <laughs> oh, just shout oh, out. Like the, yeah, pace. Like pick yeah, up pace. the pace. Pick up the pace. Get okay. the tempo going. Okay. Larry. Yeah. Well, uh, well oh, that'll be lovely if yeah. Larry wins. That's it. I really hope. Did you just wipe your nose on the mic? No, no, no. I was just smelling the not mic. I just see. I heard it on. I've, I've got the headphones on. I could hear you. Oh, wiping sorry. I think your that nose. was me. Yeah. And I didn't wipe it. I bumped my nose. Oh. Now, Trish, we're talking about the mic, not your ass. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? That doesn't just even make just sense. A, it does wiping things. Oh, yeah. Trish, you give you it a go. Okay. Well, I've got a couple of, and that was on fire over the weekend was with it? his quotes. Um, Charlie's had a bit of surgery, so we we're all bunkered down, like just loving her and oh. with the rain. So, Matt, quote number one, what do you think, Charlie? You, me, and Prince would be good friends if they locked us in a room for 24 hours? I reckon we would. I've got quite an eclectic group of friends. Yeah, well, okay. That's a question. I just thought it the other day. I, We're I was watching, watching a film something clip with Prince. With, uh, of Prince, and I really like Prince, and I think to myself sometimes, if there's certain people in the world, if you were locked in a room together for 24 hours, would you walk out of that room? Good friends. There's a question. Do you think if me and Prince got locked in this room together for 24 hours, we'd leave good mates? I don't I don't think you'd last 24 hours. No. Can I just ask? Sorry, one why second. Did, why wouldn't I last 24 hours? <laughs> it eat you. Um, do, you, do you. Did you ask Charlie that? Yeah. Were yeah. you just talking to yourself? No, no he was talking to Charlie. I talk to Charlie. I talk to Charlie all the time. Yeah, no, but... She's got a pair of ears. That's she's got, weird. She's got oh, a pair weird. of ears. No, but that's... Like, people say to their dogs, like, oh, aren't you cute? Do you want a toy? Do you want a treat? But no, to I... ask them an actual question that you need a response Well, she was watching for. Prince, yeah. too. Yeah, I'd sit there and have long discussions with her. We sit down, I put dog TV on. Oh, and my her old friends. And I said, oh, there he is. Old Felix, there he goes again. And she sits and we just watch it together and we discuss all the nuances of the dogs. Mm-hmm. Like, which one would you be <laughs> best friends with? And it's like, pretty good. I well, think um, back to the box, right? Um, I think the box doesn't give you enough to like. The box? Like you could just sleep in the box for like that whole time. You know, there'd be a lot of sleeping. There's off. no box. What the hell? Box? Just in a room. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, I'm <laughs> thinking like, <laughs> like, like a small in, space. Is that in a coffin? Like, I was like, <laughs> did I miss something? I know it's Prince has door. passed. I know Prince has passed away, but he doesn't have box. to get into the coffin with Prince. Do you know, yeah. there was a past uh, past, <laughs> past goal Logie's winner. Once had in his house had a coffin. He used to get kinky and lock himself in the coffin sometimes. <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah, he, and he lost the key once. But yeah, they had to go into uh, you know the Mister Mint side thing, get a new key cut for the coffin. He was locked in there. Can you what show was? Why you oh, no, lock I'm not yourself gonna... in it? Alf oh, Stewart. It's kinky That's just thing. weird. It's, kinky. Man. Just a, oh, it's a kink. Man. You know. Okay. Second quote. Yeah. Well, well, um, Charlie's just scratching at the rug. Um, and this was directed more towards me. I reckon I could have been a really good dancer. Do you okay. think, Trish? I mean, I've got really good footwork. Yeah, I, I sometimes when I go to the, down the gym, we got to, we put a mirror in. The Jack put a mirror in there, and I literally will get there and dance. I'll tell you right now, I can move. I will do. Uh, I, in in a week or two, I'll do a demonstration. You can film me for our podcast listeners. Okay. okay, and send it out there. I can move. No, Don't you worry are, about you're that. pretty good at dance. I've seen you on a night out. You're like at, at weddings and stuff. You're pretty good at dancing. Yeah, I can, and I'm holding back a little bit there. Mm. Mate, really? when I down in the garage, mate, you should see me. I take flight. Really? Mm. Yep. Is it your footwork or your hip work? No, it's footwork. It's some footwork and imagination. That's what dancing footwork. is. Okay, it has your rhythm. Awesome. It's okay. great. Jack, mm. um, sorry, Cooper. When Cooper dances, he dances with his upper body. A lot of his upper body, I've noticed. Yeah, yeah, he's a like lot the, of hand um, movements. Super inflatable man. Yeah. yeah. What about yeah. Jack? Jack's quite <laughs> robotic. Yeah. yeah, no. I was just going to oh, say, he yeah. dances like a skyscraper. Tall, but just doesn't move a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious. A skyscraper in a hurricane. Mate, hilarious. They're just like jealous. <laughs> Swang. They're just jealous. Oh. What about me? Oh, oh it's your voice, will we say it? We just swung I, I'm, I'm yeah. a hip mover. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. You got high hips. Be nice yeah. if you use those hits for dad every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Coop. Word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just even a nice erotic massage every now and then. Yeah. Erotic? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, neurotic. <laughs> oh, neurotic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, listen, You're so inappropriate. Okay, let me just... You've. I'm, I'm going to... 
you've just uh, triggered something in me, Trish, when we talk about Prince. And I'll get around to it. Yesterday, I caught up with um, Rick Rossman. Of course, uh, Rick Rossman, if you're a music fan, you know who Rick Rossman is. He's probably he's arguably Australia's greatest bass guitarist. He was in the Vinyls and he's in the, been in the Huda Gurus for, for eons as well. Um, he's telling me a couple of stories yesterday. And by the way, big thank you to Rick because he listens to the podcast and he gave me about seven vinyl albums for Jack. So, uh, oh, that was nice. so this, this podcast. Yeah. Sorry, he listened. Rick Rossman listens to yes, our podcast. Does. Yes, I he recently does. listened to him on another podcast where he was interviewed. Very, very good. It's good. We're going to get. He's got him. some amazing stories. Yeah, he's lived quite a life. He has. And anyway, he was. Did, did you know the Huda Gurus? Right, the, the Huda Gurus are great friends with the Bangles. Oh, you know, the the, the girl group, that. the Bangles. They once years and years and years is, ago. Is the, the Bangles the band that they sing "Walk Like an Abuse"? That's yes. exactly yes. right. For our well, younger listeners, well, they went yeah. on tour. Uh, the Huda Gurus were really big on like the indie tour around America. I used to play lots of universities and colleges and whatnot. Anyway, they did an American tour with the Bangles, who were the same. Halfway through the and and on the tour, they used to flip a coin to see who was going to go on first. Who was going because they were both on. Oh, a, they were equal. Equal footing. Halfway through the tour. They released Manic Monday. Just a lot of number really? one across the world. Number one in the in the US for about eight weeks. So straight away after that, they said it's fair to say the dynamics of the band changed. <laughs> yeah, they became the headline act. But he said they were fantastic. But what was interesting about that is Kiss. Uh, I'm sorry, Prince joined the tour. He joined the tour with them because he wrote Manic Monday and okay. they had the hots for the lead singer of the Bangles. Oh, their little brunette. Really? Chick. Yeah. She's That's cute. right. So, yeah, Prince went on tour with the Huda Gurus and the Bangles wow. during that time. Was Prince's mustache drawn on? Uh, no, it was. Nah. Um, a bit like yours. No. Yeah, yeah. But he's talking about some of the mm. Oh, okay. A bit like yours then. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh well, there we go. Okay, we're going to take a quick break on that one. Looks like someone's going to get a smack and come back with uh, a bit of uh, some games, uh, Matt's red hot question, et cetera, et cetera. Welcome back to the John's Finley Podcast. So just a bit of the Huda Gurus and Prince writing Manic Monday for the Bangles. If you had to, Irada, if you had to do a release a cover of a song, which song would it be? Any song? Any song. I do, um, and it's been covered a lot. Wichita Linesman. Wh- Lineman. Whatever. Yeah, it's Linesman. Not, what is Lineman who like to, not the like touch judge, <laughs> like what? Martin Wicks. You know what? Okay, I'm going to ask. There's a I mean, Wichita Linesman. It has a really beautiful lyric in it, one of the most beautiful ever. However. Johnny Cash cover it? Oh, so many people yeah, have. Yeah. Rita Wilson. Started Tom with, Hanks' wife has covered with, it. Started uh, with Jimmy Webb, then went to... Um, did, Neil uh, Campbell? No, N- Campbell. Neil, Neil, <laughs> Neil Campbell. <laughs> what's his name? Go. Campbell. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, what's his name? I've been walking these streets so uh, long. Yeah, can, um, who sings that song, Southern Nights? Uh, Glenn Campbell. Glenn Campbell. Glenn, Glenn Campbell. Campbell. Good work. There Thank you, you go. Um, Got me out of a hole. Got a face, didn't have a name. Yeah. yeah, same, same. My song would be Angie by the Rolling Stones. Oh, really? Angie. <laughs> Angie. <laughs> Angie. <laughs> Do you know what? Now the second part of this is that next week you have to actually sing it. That's funny because I swear it's Dad's question. Wasn't isn't it, isn't it Matt? What's you've, that? Next week you've got to actually do a verse from the song. Yeah. I just acapella. Yeah. I just did it. Acapella. Yeah. Yeah. Acapella. You're, acapella. <laughs> You're going to finish today. Is he a we, we, do, we do Paper, Scissors, Rock and someone's got to finish with that song today. Okay, right? okay well, I better get some words up because okay, you know I'm you like Jake, worms. Uh, let's go... Uh, or maybe the Hoodoo Gurus, What's My Scene? Oh, you like that? How about that, ah. Cobra? And then uh, you remember the That's My Team and yeah. Arrowhead? What's the, My the Scene? The best ad. Yeah, that was, that was a big song. Interesting, um, heard an interview with Dave Faulkner. He said that album was a real change of direction for the Hoodoo Gurus and it was, it was unpopular, even though the song's probably, with Like Wow, Wipe Out, their most popular song. Really? What, what the album was unpopular? The, al- the, um, the album, he said, just wasn't right, the sound. Really? Wow. And from that album onwards, they produced their own Because it's such an upbeat yeah, song. It's, it's it is. Daddy, what's your song? Mm-hmm. I've gone Beach Boys, I Can Hear Music. Beautiful. Brian Wilson. Is this the way I always dreamed it would be? Oh, that's creepy. Is that how you no, cover actually, it? Don't they say that that is one of the most um, perfect songs um, musically? I think it has some brand title. God Only Knows as well. God. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pet Sounds is a good album. Pet it? Is that on Pet Sounds cover? I know God only knows it. Yeah, know. It, it was that period where Brian Wilson was producing songs that had no intro music. When if you lick 
there, there's songs like I Can Hear Music. It just starts with, ah, uh, is this the way? Pretty, and pretty, then, <laughs> Jesus and really then the other one is Help Me Rhonda. She's a picture be down as a life. Pretty, um, if, if anybody can interpret what Dad's trying to say. <laughs> there would be not pretty not crazy story, bro. Yeah, just week. stop, please. Thank Sorry. You. Uh, Brian uh, Wilson, you know what? We'll just keep singing. Just go nah. ahead. Just talk. Uh, talk yeah, hey, Jack, no, no, I Jack, think Jack can want Jack's to say got something. got some Jack. messenger feedback for Love us. Love it. No, I don't have anything for you. You nah. didn't have any? Oh, no, not, uh, not for any more on that story because I don't oh, want to no. listen to music anymore. <laughs> no. um, yeah, first feedback we've got uh, from um, Jerry in Jerringong. It feels yeah. like it's made up. Uh, I remember once on the footy show, Maddie and the boys were ice skating for Daredevil Dudes and Maddie hit his back, mm. the back of his head so hard on the ice. Mm. There's a clip of it. Um, can you please elaborate on that story? Mm. And was he KO'd? Uh, he gave me a micro knockout where you don't completely mm. knocked out, but where you just black out for a second. Yeah. So what, what it was, we're, we're doing the ice skating, and I can't ice skate, I can't roller skate. Anyway, I, I was getting in, the, and one of the instructors goes, don't worry, we'll grab a hand each and we'll just drag you. So, And I said, okay, no worries. And literally as he's dragging me and they let me go, they said, just don't lean back. And, of course, when they say that, I lent. And just hit the back of my head. It yeah. knocked, it just knocked me out for a split second. Yeah, I um, I was ice, ice skating over in America in the off season, and I was holding on Penguin? to the person in front oh. of me, like holding on to the back of their jumper. And I was just because I I wasn't good. I can't like move my legs mm. like ha. like a giraffe. So I would just sort of stand there, and I, they'd tow me. Uh, but then like their jumper was stretchy, and I kind of started fading further and further back, and then. My legs slipped underneath me, and I brought them down with me, and we, and then I ended up like running into the back of their skates, like nearly cut myself. And it's such a dangerous sport. Oh, really. I can't, you, I couldn't. Even my calves and stuff were cramping. Like so, it's so hard. Yeah, yeah, they're great. I mean, have a look at the legs of ice skaters. Yeah, like, and imagine ripped. those people jumping in the the air and twirling oh, and doing yeah. all those things. But Wonderful. how many cuts must they do? Like if you're twirling and you're doing it with a partner as well. I watched I, Tonya the other day again. Oh, a good did you? Tonya Harding. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very, um, Margot Robbie, did she, she win an Academy Award? Uh, an Academy uh, I think she won a Logie. Yeah, she no, won you a Logie. Logie. Yeah. Her and Larry she was, she was pipped out by Larry. But um, you know, what's, I, what's the rule, Cobber, with, with uh, when you fall, you go to knuckles because if you've got the fingers out, yeah, oh, you can get is that cut. Right? Go to knuckles. It's just like when you punch someone. Don't have the knuckle on the inside. You'll break your thumb. Or, if you want to punch someone, thumb on the outside or don't punch someone at all. Yeah, or, don't punch someone. Or when, cutting, or when cutting vegetables, Anthony Bourdain tip, just who? Bourdain. Who? Bourdain. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Bourdain. That, it's been a really, it's a big day as far as getting names wrong. And you got you got to curve the, the fingertips. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Cause if you should, but Daredevil dudes back in the day, I'll tell you what. You couldn't do that now. The amount of dangerous things we did. I remember once they put me on a 500cc motorcycle. I had no idea what it was doing. They started and just went, where you go? And went over a, I went over a jump and just hit the accelerator, then dropped the accelerator and did a flip. Did a, the bloke you, went, that was awesome. I went, it wasn't. I landed on my shoulders. We might need to have a, an evening where we YouTube a whole lot of those. That might be That's amazing. entertaining. I, when you say you couldn't do that these days, I think you'd fail and forget, Matthew. There are people doing that still these days. No, but, yeah, but, but you would have to sign. And you think about it. Yeah, they signed waivers. Did you, you had, sign waivers back then? No. Oh, you didn't sign No. Any. But when you signed at, uh, like for the network, they would have had some sort of horseplay agreement. Where no, yeah, remember, remember Fatty fell out of the car in the sumo suit. That's right. Yeah, that yeah, was, and he that had quite a bit of time. That, that was, was a turning hit. point. I tell you what, that incident, Fatty was so lucky because we it was it was shooting the remember the old um, Mitsubishi ad, not so squeezy with the sumos. <laughs> we shot that, and he no. was in, he was in a sumo suit, and he was he was like well wedged in, and all of a sudden Fatty fell out. And the nature of the sumo suit just smashed the back of his head on the cement, right? And Chief was there. Mate, I'm telling you, lucky Chief was there. Because Fatty was going, oh, man, I feel not feeling well. And had a little bit of a vomit. And Fatty went and uh, someone said, oh, we'll take you to hospital. And Fatty said, oh, hospital, don't worry about it. And Chief wouldn't have it. Chief said, mate, no, no, stay here. Call an ambulance now. Mm. We'll take him to hospital immediately. And, mate, he was very, very lucky, Fatty. Why? It was, it was bad. There was... I don't want to make it sound dramatic, but I don't know if there was a slight 
brain, a brain bleed or something. But he he wasn't on the show for about. I know for, he had quite a bit for of time. Two off. or three months. Oh really? He, yeah, yeah. he was in a he fatty was in a really yeah, bad way. Good. I couldn't even remember that. I didn't yeah, even I, know. I was oh, in you here too. I remember when I was a kid. We did like a yeah. The uh, was that the first time you ever hosted? Oh, what a nightmare! Did you have to host the show? Yeah, I, I was remember. I'm having did flashbacks you? here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this. <laughs> Okay, this is no, so. This is what happened. Like, talk about a series of like tragic and near tragic events. So, Fatty hits his head, and initially they're going, "Well, okay, what we'll do is we'll get Sterlo's going to host." Mm. Pete's dad died. Max Sterling he passed, so Sterlo rang, so he's out as well. And we're like, you know what? Just stop the show. You're not going to do it anyway. They said, "No, no, no. Go ahead with the show." Maddie, can you host it? I went, no, I, I, I just can't. I, I'm, I just, I, I don't have this, the experience. I haven't got the tools. Like I didn't know how to host a show, mm. basically. Back then. Yeah, yeah, back then. Now you do an excellent now, job. Well, well done. Who would have thought now? <laughs> and uh, from, <laughs> from little things, big things grow. Yeah, Paul Kelly. Uh, yeah, thanks, Scoop. And um, <laughs> so, so what they did, they went, no, we need you to host. And they said, we just got to, you and Chief. And we've got to get a couple of uh, hosts. So I went, okay. They said, we've got Lane Beachley. She's a, um, surfer. a manly a surfer, but a manly fan, knows the game inside out. And they got this a fella called Clive James. You won't know. Oh, he, he's the English. He was a world, he's Australian, but oh, he made, he yep, but he made his reputation over in England, like big worldwide star, particularly in the UK and Australia, huge. So he was in Australia, Wait. and Steve Crawley rang and said, hey, Clive, can you come on the show? And he went, oh, okay. Matt, is he. A comedian? Uh, What's comedian his role? TV host. Host, okay. Yeah. So, anyway, mm. so I said, Oh, Clive James. And they gave me a bit of an outline of what he did. And they said, Don't worry about it. He, he knows his football. He's a huge St. George fan growing up. And I went, Okay. You know, guys of that elk generally were big St. George fans. So I went into the dressing room before the show. I said, Hey, Clive, here you go. I haven't really done this before, but mate, just help me out when you can. I know you're a huge St. George fan. And he went, Sorry? <laughs> oh, no. He said, I know nothing about the game. <laughs> oh, no. Oops. And I went in the chief and went, mate, this is going to be it go? a long night. How'd it go? Oh, it was awful. Was it bad? Yeah, oh, mate, I didn't know what I was doing. No, I bet you I was fine. Know, I didn't have this. I didn't like, and because I was so nervous, I was rushing. Oh, and you sort of... They were like wonder, two-hour the, shows too, weren't they? Two-hour shows. Oh, were yeah. they two hours? I wonder if... And it's live TV. If anyone can dig that up, please get in touch with me. Yeah. Oh, please don't. That, that is amazing. so good. It Trish, was, I believe you have really some awesome. sort of rotating segment for us. Yes. Yep. Uh, Matt and I were watching a movie the other day and... There was a. <laughs> it was. Oh, stop it. It was. Um, it really and was awesome. It reminded me of the days where... Toll booths you had that had people in them, mm. and you had to stop, and you had to have money. You couldn't use a credit card or anything, yeah. and you had to hand over money. You had to put it in the hand. You could go through the it one where they give you change, and other ones you just throw in the bucket. Yeah. You remember the tip off we had? I oh, didn't pay the, yeah. for two years. Like people, there would be like you guys. You would never remember that. What do you mean the tip off you had? Was it? Well, there, there was, was a, there was yeah, old a little... there was a tip off known within sort of like the bit of the wise guys around Sydney they had a deal that the furthest. <laughs> The furthest uh, toll booth on the left, which one that didn't give you change, just threw it in the bucket. Um, they said there's no camera, so don't pay. It was actually put there for certain people who had occupations there. They used to cross the bridge every day, Regularly. and they said, "Mate, it." I said, "Just do it." I said, "We swear to you, you're not, you will not get a fine." So I just did it for years and oh, years. Oh, did you? Yeah. And Answer that. I hope anything you didn't get a bill else, there. Oh, yeah. Never. Anything ever come out of it? No, nothing. Wow. Well, I can see a headline coming out of it now. That's the John's <laughs> Dodgers tolls for years and years. Cheap John's. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I've got another thing. Okay. Whatever. Go on. Okay. Don't um, wait for me to segue you in. Okay. One of my friends, new friends at Pilates is pregnant. Oh, well, congratulations, new friend. Is that it? What's her name, Trish? No, I'm not going to say her name. Mary. Um, But her husband had a vasectomy. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah. before? Yeah. Sounds like the yeah, bulls so jumped she, the fence got somewhere. Three, they have three, no, they've got three children. And like, when she was, the first thing she said was, oh. yes, I'm pregnant and my husband had a vasectomy. I went, oh, so she, man. did she cheat on him? Yeah, she did. No. So the, I said, <laughs> did you go have. back to the surgeon? And the, she went, yeah, yeah. She said, it, they'll only guarantee 99.9%. 
Well, I still oh. think she cheated. I think I was going probably... to say that. She I certainly think... did not. She's yeah, very sweet. Pretty sure she has. But how about has. that? <laughs> sure I'd, she did because... I'd say she has. Oh, <laughs> stop it. Yeah, well, statistically speaking... I really speaking, don't like you speaking I want you to give Sam like some that. photos of the other kids and the father oh, and have a look at the newborn. Yeah. Stop it, uh, that's stop when it. I'll make my proper sure. judgments. Yeah. Yeah. I'm... So if you've got other stories, and it's not, well, it's not common, but it's... Happens. No, throw stones, Cooper Jones. What the vasectomy Point joined, zero. rejoining? Well, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know if it rejoins or it's just not successful. Successful in the first instance. Now, what they do these They're days? Like, back in the day, they used to cut the tubes right out and seal them. They used to uh, like do like a burn at the tubes. So, and very occasionally they would rejoin. These days, they put a little block in there. A oh, is that blocker right? Yeah. So that they can remove it easily. If you then move oh, is on that to right? Have you got a, are you burn in, or are you blocker? No, I'm blocker. Because he was yeah. saying to me, are you confident you'll never have another child? And I said, no, because if something happens to Trish and I get married again, I want to start another family. Oh, obviously. <laughs> obviously. I thought they nodded at Cobba. I thought they put it in a little nod. No, nah, they, they used to burn the ends. It'll be nodded soon, let me then, tell you. And then these days they just put a little tube in there, a, a little blocker. Well, I heard this the other day. Now, I don't know if this – I feel like this might have been something we've spoken about, but what what happens to the uh, fluid – uh, the what happens to it? and it just does it get? No. I think it just gets absorbed by the body. Yeah, it, it, it gets stay. absorbed and it comes out in other ways. When you go to the toilet, when you urinate, and when you cry, that when you cry, then your cheeks. Are you actually, making this up? No, nah, it's semen. No, <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. Apparently, no. Apparently, yeah, no. it leaks out the anus. Really? Oh, stop yeah. it. You're all lying. No, apparently. That's no. why when sometimes you look in your undies and there's stuff in there. <laughs> there is uh, no MD after any of your MD M what? Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's go to a lightning quick break. We'll be back with uh, Cooper's Quiz and Matt's Red Hot Question. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. We're just uh, at the Ready moment Jack, just checking that everything's uh, hunky-dory, tippity-pop. All good. Didn't know you like David split. Bowie, Cobb. Yeah, tippity doo Can I go into a quiz? Go for it, Do man. it. Okay, Cooper's quiz today. On the animal theme of hitting kangaroos, I've done a fact or cap animals edition. Uh -oh. These are animal facts or they're caps. You guys get to decide if you think it's a fact or a cap. Does everyone understand that? I do. What does cap stand for? Yeah. Don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I've, been, I've been trying to think about that for it's ages. It's just a popular trend. They say okay. fact or cap. Is okay. it fact or is that wrong? Let's I think move it just it. rolls off the tongue. Thank you, Trish. I'll be the host of the show. Thank you. <sighs> Koala fingerprints are so close to humans, they have the ability to taint a crime scene. Is that fact or cap? It's, uh, it's uh, cap. Trish? Cap. Fact. It is fact. Wow. Jack yeah, Johns. Yeah, yeah. There's been – well, not there hasn't been instances, but they are so close that if a koala happened to walk through a crime scene or something, they would taint other fingers. They'll get pinned with the murder. Blinky yeah, yeah. Bill. So if there's any koalas listening, yeah. Blinky <laughs> Bill want to kill. Oh, yeah. No. The caramella koala, apparently. Yeah. They could never pin all those murders on him. The <laughs> second one. Polar bear's skin is actually black. Is that fact or cap? Yeah, it, it's – Fact. Is it? Okay. Cap. Trish? I think that's fact. It is fact. Underneath all that, that white, white little mm. fur, there is black skin under there because what it does is it soaks in the UV ray and allows them to actually absorb a lot of that sunlight, which keeps them warm underneath. Yeah, well. Yeah, in case is. anybody cares. Shout out to the polar bears. <laughs> okay. That, is, uh, that one's fact, yes. So we're all a, a, a point each. Yeah. Point each. Mm. That's exciting. A leopard... Is faster than a giraffe? Is that fact or cap? Uh, fact. Patricia. Yeah, fact. Cap. That is cap. If you believe that or not, leopard I... highs of fifty-eight kilometers an hour. Giraffe highs of sixty-five kilometers an hour. I find that so they are cool. anaerobic athletes. Yeah, they are. Do I, you I think that it's because of their leg span? They've got the long legs. Could be. No, I saw them, when I was over in South Africa earlier in the year. I, we sort of frightened a couple off. In our Jeep Ute, oh, uh, when we you were, were real, <laughs> you, you and your cars and endangered species, incredible. Yeah. One of them took off at one point, at, like down the down the road, down the track, and it was quick. Mm. I don't know if it was sixty five k's quick, because mm. that's like at school zones. So mm. I, I think, um, so che cheetah? Did you say cheetah? Leopard. No, leopard. no I'm talking back to Trisha's friends. Of <laughs> 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 uh, Keep it going. He did cheat. Not funny. Okay, Jack, you were the only one who got that right. You're two. Mum and dad won. Mm. Question four. Kangaroos um, are primarily right-handed. Is that fact or cap? Sorry to Skippy who I hit on the highway as yeah, well. Yeah, it's going to say <laughs> fact or cap. They love Subarus. <laughs> uh, Trish. Uh, I'm going to say cap. 
Yeah, I'll say Cap I'm as going well. Cap as well. I think they're left. Yes, correct. They are left-handed primarily. What? 95% oh, what? left-handed. Kangaroos. Like when they're scratch or go to pick something up to eat, left-handed primarily. Mm. Oh, I was going to say, geez, like I don't really see him carrying glasses around too often, oh, you know, for a sip of water. I don't know. No, no, no. Hillary Swank. Okay. <laughs> Everybody got that one right. So you guys need to get this. I mean, there's... To tie. Yeah. 3-2. Sure. Jack's winning. Okay. Last one. Wombat's main source of defense is backing their big dump truck ass into their enemies because it's made... Fact. Okay. Cap. Trish? I think that might be fact. It is fact indeed. Because oh. I have seen them... Yeah, they back into that. Up. So they'll back into that thing and because it's mainly cartilage, they can withstand attacks. As they get scratched and bit on it, sometimes they take chunks out, but they can withstand it because it's mainly cartilage. Oh, I love it when you hang out with Robert Irwin, eh? Look, yeah. Congratulations, Jack. After last week, you did need to redeem yourself. <laughs> Thanks, Trish. They, uh, get they're shooting, that they're well, shooting well. cubes too. Yeah, they're shitting cubes. Cubes. Yeah. And they growl. They're funny. Yeah. Yeah. Remember they? we were up at Jimmy Barnes's? Never heard one tell a joke. Do you remember we were at Jimmy Barnes's farm that time over New Year's and you fell into a wombat hole? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. We're looking for uh, Snoop. Snoop Dogg. His dog. Yeah. Yeah. Death fell into a wombat hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's <did. hilarious. laughs> Oh, man. That was oh, so funny. One man dead, oh, one man leave. Oh, uh, one dog, I, one boat. Okay. okay, Matthew, your Matt's red hot question. Right, I read a question this week. Okay, listen closely. Right, oh, there are 10 doors. Right, you can open one of the doors, whatever you open, when you open one of the doors, whatever's the contents behind the doors, you can keep. Right, okay. Now, you can open the door, a door, or you can walk away. Behind nine of the 10 doors, there's $80 million behind each of them. Behind one door is a hungry lion. How hungry? Yeah. He's going to rip you apart. He's going to bite your I'd face imagine. off. Right, uh, so 10 doors. $80 million US. Oh, what? Behind nine doors, one, die, one door, there's a hungry lion. Okay. Jack Johns, wow. do you open a door or do you walk away? I, I open a door and then if there's a lion, I shut it. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work that well way, done. bro. Well done. No, because like the door remains open. Oh, okay. Yeah. Come on. So what do you do? I back myself. Yeah, I, I, I like those odds. Yeah, okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to think nine out of ten chances. I could not live with myself if I didn't open a door. I literally could. I'd probably just end up. Maybe if you open a door, you won't live at all. No. Yeah, but is it toxic of me to think that I would be able to withstand a lion's attack? Oh, it's not toxic. It's not the word. Oh, it, it's basically, um, it's delusional. Really? <laughs> mm. Cooper, if you use that word one more time, toxic. And all your other little cliches you've been throwing out to me, yeah. I'm getting. Well, if you start, if you keep being narcissistic up there, oh then <laughs> Trisha was being really toxic and narcissistic last night, mm. and I, I, as a strong independent man, I stood up to her and I said, "Hey, stop being narcissistic to Dad," mm. and she didn't like that very and much. You know what? You got to stop being You're so big sociopathic. You're being misogynist. Cooper, you stop being so sociopathic. Okay. Uh, well, FYI, um, you know well, what? FYI. Depending on. <laughs> Um, where I am in my life and how I'm feeling, I think I'll open it because sometimes maybe I just want to be attacked by the lion. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'd open it for it you. It started with self-pity. It finishes with self-pity. <laughs> have a you, great week, everyone. What about you? I'll open. I'll have a crack. You'll have a crack? Yeah, I'll have a crack. Oh, your meat is so, yeah. like, yeah. Tender, yeah. they, that thing would rip you to shreds. It would, it I know. certainly would. You I go don't know your, if it's tender or not. He yeah. might choke on a fur. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> I know. He might choke on your toupee and to get a fur ball. Ooh. <laughs> uh, last line of defence. Oh. oh well, I mean, let's finish on that high note. Why not? Let's not, Coop. Who's going to finish right up? Paper, scissors, rock. The odd person out okay. finishes with their Quick, song. Let's do You've it. got to do thirty seconds. Okay, ready? Oh, well, ready? I, I don't know what thirty seconds worth. Scissors, scissors paper, paper, rock. rock. Trisha's old Trish one is out. the old one out. <laughs> We're all scissors. I did paper, Trish was paper. You've got to sing. Now, what was the song again? I am the lineman for the county. That's all you're going to get. No, so no, yeah. no. Oh, I'll do it. No, no, no. I'm all no, no, no. Okay, and I'll give you the nicest verse in Just it. Just sing it. Um, and I need you more than want yeah. you. Nice. And I want you for all time. Keep and that's going. all you're getting. No, that's all I know. And the Wichita lineman. Uh, Matt, don't ruin it. Matt, don't ruin it. Matt, don't ruin it. Shout out. Shout out to Gavin Badger out there on the lines. Jimmy Webb. 
the great Jimmy Webb, who wrote Up, Up and Away and many, many songs. Okay. Righto, that's us. Uh, guys, have a good week. We'll speak to you uh, next week. Ciao.